When is a boost leak not a boost leak? Today I'm going to show you. In one of my previous videos, we put a leak tester on a car and showed that we found some bubbles coming out of the blower valve. One of the things about a leak test is you're actually putting boost pressure into the turbo intake. And normally when the car is on boost, boost pressure isn't on the turbo intake. In fact, there is no pressure at the turbo intake itself. It is only from the turbo to the intake manifold. With a blower valve, if it has a recirculating port on it, that recirculating port connects to pre-turbo. Now, of course, a boost pressure test on the car will pressurize the recirc port. Now, that's the important key here. When the car is on boost, there is no pressure in this recirc hose. It is literally just a duct to vent the air back to the intake when the blow valve blows off. But in pressure testing the car, because we're putting pressure in the turbo intake, it's also going up the recirc outlet of the blow valve. Now, in the case of any dual port blow valve, exclusively they use a piston in a bore the reason for that is because you have to shut off and isolate both the trumpet and the recirc port when the valve is closed. Now you cannot do that with any other style of valve. The important thing is when you pressurise the recirc port of a blower valve like this, a dual port blower valve, the air will be able to force its way around the side of the piston. Now of course the piston has to have a small amount of clearance. Now typically um, even if you run the tightest machining clearance you possibly can, this will be somewhere around about 0.02 millimetres. So that's the kind of gap we're talking about. Now to show you what's going on, I'm going to use a compressor here to push some uh, pressurised air back up the recirc and I'll show you what sort of a size leak we're talking about. Alright, so we'll put some pressure on the recirc. I'm using about 15 psi. Now already I can hear a little bit of a leak, so it's quite easy to see when we put some soapy water in there and of course you're going to see a few bubbles coming out of the trumpet. So basically what we're seeing there is air going around the side of the piston. Now it is just not possible to seal the sides of a piston. And as I said, the, the gap we're talking about there is about 0.02 millimetres. So it is tiny, the bubbles make it look worse than it is. And you will actually see that on the previous video we did where we showed you how big a leak we're talking about and it is absolutely tiny. So the key thing to remember is there is actually a difference between a leak test and being on boost. Now a leak test will be pressurising the recirc port of the blower valve. Now that is not designed to hold pressure that way. When you're actually driving the car on boost, the only place the pressure is applied is to the front and the back of the piston, which is very easy to seal compared to the side. So in the real world, when you're driving the car on boost, that leak that we saw with the leak test won't actually occur.